To write the name for PBI2, first we have to recognize that PB, that's lead, that's a metal. And then I, iodine, that's a nonmetal. So a metal and a nonmetal, that's an ionic compound. And specifically, lead is a transition metal. So because we have this ionic compound with a transition metal, we'll use these rules to write the name for PBI2. First, we'll write the name for the metal, just as it appears on the periodic table. That's lead. Then we'll write the name for the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table. So iodine, lowercase i, and we're going to cross out the ending and replace it with IDE. So at this point, we have lead iodide. But remember we said PB is a transition metal. We don't know its charge. We have to look at what it's bonded to. It can have different charges. Here, it's bonded to two iodine atoms. Iodine, when it forms bonds, it has ions that are 1 minus. And since we have two of them, 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus, the lead has to be 2 plus. And we show that in the name by putting a Roman numeral 2 in parentheses. So the name for PBI2 is lead 2 iodide. If you were given the name here, asked to write the formula, you'd know that lead has a 2 plus charge because of the Roman numeral 2. Iodine, that's always this 1 minus here. So we'll need two iodine atoms to balance out the charge on the lead. This is Dr. B with the name for PBI2, lead 2 iodide. Thanks for watching.